Hey, super brave friends. My name is Joel Karlowski, the super brave teacher. And today I want to talk to you about compassion fatigue. Yes, friends, it is that time of the year, the end of the school year, the end of the school year for this super brave teacher who is on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way. It is that time of year and I'm going through some compassion fatigue. Now you might be asking yourself, what's compassion fatigue? What, what are you even talking about? Well, let's keep it really simple. Compassion fatigue is when you, you have potential burnout from emotional labor. And yes, I believe being a teacher is one of the most emotionally laborly, whatever the word is, emotionally laborly, laboring <laughs> intensive job there is. You use so much emotional labor. All day long I'm thinking, okay, they need this, I gotta help them with this, I'm gonna do this, da -da, I gotta organize this, I've gotta run to a meeting. And all day long you're using your emotions like crazy because I love kids, we love kids. That's what teachers do so well. It is such beautiful, empathetic, and compassionate work. Hence, especially right now, at the end of the school year, I am feeling a lot of compassion fatigue. It's one of those, it's like, I almost feel like if something happens, I almost couldn't even do it. I couldn't even help them out because I am just to the point where I know that I need to recharge my batteries. So when people say, oh, oh being a teacher is so easy because you have June, July, and August off. First of all, I know a few teachers who don't do a lot of work over summer, one, and two, I think most teachers need a good three, four weeks at least to get their brains and hearts and full selves back to do this deeply personal work of supporting our students, not just academically, but socially and emotionally. So if you are a teacher going through some compassion fatigue right now, guess what? You are not alone at all. I could lay on this floor right now and just go to bed. And two, thank you. If you're like me, you're hearing a lot of gratitude and thanks, but I want you to know that I see it every day. I see you every day and all this hard, beautiful work you're doing. If you're not a teacher, please go thank them. And not just once, multiple, multiple, multiple times. I've never had a day where I'm like, oh gosh, they just kept saying thank you and they're so grateful for me. No, go do that. If you are a student, be extra kind to your teachers every single day. And especially now at the end of the year when we're all going through compassion fatigue. And if you're not a teacher or a student, and if you're not a gay teacher or student like this guy, thank anyone who is an educator or a teacher in your life. And like I said, don't just do it once or twice. Do it daily, weekly, as much as you can. Because I don't think anyone's ever said, Gosh, I've had so much compassion in my life. I've had so much gratitude in my life. I've had so much validation. I just, stop, stop. No, keep it up. We appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video with me. Thank you for helping me tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way. You are awesome just because you're you. And Joel, you're almost there. Keep it up. Beautiful, beautiful. Teacher you, bye friends.